Widespread flooding and landslides set off by a tropical storm in the northeastern Philippines on Thursday left at least 24 people dead, swept away cars and prompted authorities to scramble for motorboats to rescue trapped villagers, some on roofs. The government shut down schools and offices, except those urgently needed for disaster response, for the second day on the entire main island of Luzon to protect millions of people after tropical storm Trami slammed into the country's northeastern province of Isabela after midnight. The storm was blowing over Aguinaldo town in the mountain province of Ifugo after dawn with sustained winds up to 95 km per hour and gusts up to 160 km per hour. It was blowing westward and was forecast to enter the South China Sea later on Thursday, according to state forecasters. At least 24 people died, mostly due to drowning in the hard-hit Baikal region and nearby Quezon province but the toll was expected to rise as towns and villages isolated by flooding and roads blocked by landslides and toppled trees managed to send out reports, police and provincial officials said. Most of the storm deaths were reported in the six-province Baikal region, southeast of Manila, where at least 20 people died, including seven residents in Naga City, which was inundated by flash floods as Trami was approaching Tuesday, dumping more than two months' worth of rainfall in just 24 hours at high tide, Regional Police Chief Brig General Andre Dizon and other officials said. While thousands of villagers, who were trapped in floodwaters, have been rescued by government forces, many more needed to be saved Thursday in the Baikal region, including some on roofs. About 1,500 police officers have been deployed for disaster mitigation work, Dizon said. Stormy weather remained in the region, hampering relief efforts, officials said. The government's disaster mitigation agency said more than 2 million people were affected by the storm, including 75,400 villagers who were displaced from their homes and are sheltering on safer ground. About 20 storms and typhoons batter the Philippines each year. In 2013, Typhoon Haiyan, one of the strongest recorded tropical cyclones in the world, left more than 7,300 people dead or missing and flattened entire villages. Torrential rain set off by an approaching tropical storm swamped eastern Philippine cities and towns overnight in widespread flooding that trapped people, some on their roofs, and sparked frantic appeals for rescue boats and trucks, officials said Wednesday. The government shut down public schools and government offices, except those urgently needed for disaster response on the entire main island of Luzon to protect millions of people as tropical storm Trami blew closer from the Pacific. At least person died after being hit by a fallen tree branch in central Masbata province while seven others were reported missing, including three men who sailed to fish in the high seas from Masbata but haven't returned, officials said. The storm was about 310 kilometers east of Baylor town in the northeastern province of Aurora with sustained winds of 85 kilometers per hour and gusts to 105 kilometers per hour. 
Its wide rain band could dump up to 20 centimeters of rainwater in one day of intense downpours in the most vulnerable provinces on its path, according to state forecasters. The storm was forecast to hit Aurora's coast Wednesday night to early Thursday, then barrel across northern Luzon's mountain range, valleys and plains before exiting to the South China Sea later in the week, they said. Thousands of villagers have evacuated to emergency shelters in northeastern provinces, and storm warnings were raised in more than two dozen northern and central provinces, including in the densely populated capital of Manila, which was not in the storm's direct path but could be lashed by its pounding rains.